there is actually technically a turn. But through the final quarter, Freeway 5 went purple by a long way in the middle Boom. and goes purple by a long way at the end of the lap. Freeway 5 onto provisional pole position, and that is a rapid pace from the Mercedes driver. On, and they are about to go out. The formation lap is done, and we have one, two, three, four, and five bright red lights on for the Bahrain Grand Prix, and they go out, and the drivers are off. And it looks like it was a good on start. The run through turn one. What happened to the Ferrari back there? We don't know. Tuna time goes to the inside of Freeway 5 into turn four. Trying to make it stick and they're side by side. But it is Freeway who has the position through sector one. Oh. But Tuna isn't done yet. But he should have been done yet. Very close for Tuna time. And it's three wide. We've been Fish as well. Breezy backs out. Tuna time gets the position. Oh, Fish goes way off the track. And allows Breezy to get back through. Battle out with Vish, the Williams and the Red Bull are here on the first lap as Breezy and Vish are still going side by side. And this time it's Vish who's going to try to swing it around the outside. His soft tires and Blue Jorta thought about making a three wide for a second. No, that was the very worst. Spin. Oh, there's a big spin. That's why you don't touch that curve. That's why you don't go side by side today. Yeah, that's right. And now it's Lil Jorta who is unleashed onto the back of Breezy. And the Ferrari is going to have a move into the final turn hard on the brakes. And Lil Jorta has gone from first to eighth to third in one lap. What an opening lap at the Bahrain Grand Prix. Time's gone around somewhere. Tuna Where's time Tuna? dropped it on the exit of turn two. Exit of, tur uh, exit of turn three, actually, my bad. Looks like oh. he maybe put it on the curb, and that is Tuna time down all the way to the back of the field, only okay. ahead of G. And this is what Bahrain produces, like, buys Bahrain. Brian, Brian Burns. Burns. we got yeah. Brian Burns going around the inside of Envy Bull Scarf. And way oh. too much, too much extra rotation on that curb and hitting the Alfa Romeo twice. Losing three, four, five. Recorded. That really only works in qualifying when it's a controlled environment. In the race, not really a good idea, especially if there's someone on your inside. So, lesson learned there. Doctor Who, big mover, up eight spots already, but the focus right now is on the man ahead who is the silver. And Ooh, actually, the Alfa Romeo gaining a lot on the Red Bull. Through that turn. It's a bit of a Red Bull train, actually. We see freeway. Oh, who was going way wide on the exit there? Brian. Brian, I think. We'll see. That was Brian. Is the Alfa Tari. Oh, never mind. Who cares about the Alfa Tari? Because the other Alfa Tari goes around. Oh, that was opportunistic. Goes from gaining three to losing four spots in one turn. Very unfortunate. We see Brian Burns now with DRS putting it around the outside of Doctor Who. And also two at a time, setting it to the inside of both of them. And, oh, Brian Burns as well. Yes. So that Williams driver having a very eventful opening lap. Uh, what happened to Eric George? I think Eric George spun as well. Or, or, or Lil Jortot spun as well. Because uh, all of a sudden, Breezy has a four and a half second deficit to freeway. Happening in the early days, as we see Lil Jort and Vish going side by side. That's a lot of curve for the Red Bull. That was, was gonna never going to work. Yeah. And that is spinning in a very dangerous oh. spot. Ghosting, saving a few drivers' lives, doing donuts like you just won that NASCAR race today. And that is and Vish four at the current moment. And very quickly hunting down the drivers in the lead. Meanwhile, two at a time, setting another move on Brian Burns, but understeering a little bit, not able to get the rotation to make the move stick and out of VRS seemingly as he's blinking and stays behind Brian Burns. Down the inside and pushes Brian off the track, loses the spot to J-Boy as well. And J-Boy maybe, oh, that was maybe a little bit aggressive from two at a time. Tuna decided that, no, this corner is going to be mine. You're not going to do anything about it as we see the Alpha Tower. There's actually a couple bats vibing in the pit lane that were hiding in the Ferrari garage that no one actually saw. Yeah. He's also, hello take. everyone who's... Oh, that is, yeah, Shotgunner on Doctor Who. Once again, Doctor Who's running another position. Maybe a little bit. And two times side by side. side. Not really side by side. Where oh, is it going? Cody's, give me a camera boy. angle. J-Boy getting a little bit loose on exit from what... Uh, yeah, it looked like just getting loose on exit. And Tuna Time goes for a massive dive bomb. That was very risky. Brian Burns and Tuna Time just taking turns, making massive dive bombs on each other. And the, the weird part is that they're working. They just keep working. We haven't taken the time to look at the uh, the tire strategy, by the way. Uh, Which few just, drivers on hot. Yeah. people start playing exactly. right into Shotgunner's hands. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure Shotgunner has had a spin already. But, I mean, P9, it doesn't matter. There's been so much carnage this race. Pretty sure half the grid has had a spin already. As... Yeah, Shotgunner actually just got by Brian Burns there. That was actually a very aggressive move. Oh, Brian Burns putting pretty pressure. Two to time. Uh, well, yellow what's happening? flag. Somebody spun. It looks like Eric, Eric. Rogers and the other Haas. So that is the second Haas was running up in P2. That's another spin. And now Freeway 5's lead is six seconds. DRS train, but mediums versus hards. And the mediums aren't really going off yet. And just pushing the McLaren through turn three. And now using the overtake button. Here comes J-Boy on silver. Red Bull versus McLaren. And the Red Bull is going to come out on top. That is J-Boy up to P5. 
as also Eric Drotcher. Yeah. I think Eric wants a back butt. Oh, the right key. Eric Didn't quite get it there. Eric does want it back. Eric knows he spun earlier, and he's definitely going to want to get a spot back, but he's got to be careful because there's a rapid Red Bull of J-Boy who just dispatched of Silver and is ready for a little bit, but hopefully getting back into it soon enough as we go on to the main chase. There's a McLaren oh. spinning that Silver. No. Silver spins it round at the final corner, and after a great battle, we saw him have with Ooh. J-Boy spins it all the way out of the points as we see Eric Rogers get P3 and J-Boy making a move for P4 almost as there's big oversteer happening on that Haas and the Alfa Romeo. And now it's going to be the Alfa Romeo with DRS. It person be. locks up and spins. This is going to spell disaster for all of them. But they do make it through there nicely as the Alfa Tower is come flying out of turn 10. But it looks like it was a really good exit for J-Boy. Gaps two at a time by about eight tenths of a second. The Alfa Romeo, but this battle isn't over yet because the Alfa Romeo of Envy Scarf hit him with a switchback move and going into the final quarter, either I'm going to let up to get DRS. J-Boy lets Envy Scarf get the DRS, but they're both going to have DRS because Eric Rogers is right there. Is Envy Scarf going to make a move? On Eric Rogers, is Brian Burns gonna make a move on Tuna Time? Not quite. They hold position for now, but they're holding position quite aggressively. Unbelievable Brian. racing. This is lap twin ten. There it is. And of course, this is Ally Ally Motorsports Division Three here. I'll tell you what, my vocal cords wish it was lap twenty. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, it's almost over. Yay. And Jay Boy, of course, these are mediums and softs. And Jay Boy at the moment putting a run right there on the hard runner. Thank you very much for the helicopter camera. Oh, Enviable Scarf yes. going very wide. And Jay Boy is going to get through as well. And that is another position for the Red Bull. All player. these guys are fighting. They're fighting hard. Well, if anybody knows, it's you, Mr. Secret, because you are in another class. Oh, Jay Boy oh. goes wide off the track. And it's going to be Enviable Scarf getting the yeah. spot back again. But J-Boy actually managed to get very good wide and almost opens the door for Brian Burns to get a move. Little bit of overtake button by the Alpha Towery. And is the Alpha Tower going to try and pass the Alpha Romeo? No, not quite. The Alpha Romeo is a little bit defensive into the final corner, but not mm. quite. But that doesn't deter him as he's still going to try and make the overtake on Enviable Scarf, but just not finding the grip anymore. Those hard tires finally coming into their own. For that number 68 machine and by the way 17 I, well on the way this has been a fantastic Bahrain Grand Prix so far as we see J-Boy and Tuna Time once again renewing hostilities and this is a good sign that that, oh, that, that undercut from Tuna Time is going to work because J-Boy was towards the front end of the pits it does look like uh, Tuna will swap places with his teammate as we do see Brian Burns getting by Enviable Scarf into turn 4 Scarf trying to fight back but <laughs> Brian Burns finding just enough grip in those... 47 old... seconds, and that's freeway five boxing, boxing, boxing right now. So yeah. interesting call on that one, but that's not going to be enough, is it, at all? Yeah. And Breezy pulls into the pits as well, so assuming that Brian Burns... about a second ahead. Oh, going very oh, deep yeah. into turn one, because those old, there's not heated up hard tires are an absolute nightmare. The Alpha Tower to the inside of freeway five, for the lead of the Can't race, possibly Brian. fight back on those cold tires. Brian Burns forcing him out wide, and Enviable Scarf getting by as well. This is valuable time. Freeway is losing, but, I mean, he did have eight seconds to to, to gamble with, so he is uh, fine. We want to hear that oh again, are we? <laughs> it was at this track, too, you know. It was it was at Bahrain that you said that. It probably was. It's deja vu all over again, isn't it? But then again, Silva, <laughs> why is Silva putting so much pressure on Breezy? Good, he's got the older boots. Brian Burns hit with a scarf shotgunner going extra long. You think maybe they're going to try and go on to the softs at the end of the race? As we actually were seeing J-Boy put a move on Eric Rogers right now. So the Red Bull getting by, finally getting by that Haas driver after losing out of the ERS completely. So sitting duck now for Freeway if he just so chooses. And he does. Freeway gets on that overtake button and this is going to be a slam dunk. Easy overtake Freeway. Up into P3 on track once again. Brian Stolten said, mate, do you, know what? you can't take these medium tires to the absolute end of the race. So about 60%, I believe, currently in the rears. I think Brian's trying to do the big medium to soft strategy. He's trying to make it's it. It's not bad, yes, isn't it? Yeah. Can lead in this race as the Alpha Romeo throws it to the outside of the Alpha Tauri and gets the move done before the turn even starts. Boom. Enviable Scarf into the lead of the Bahrain Grand Prix on lap 17 of 29. As we see Nine seconds, eight seconds down change. J-Boy and Shotgun are, are having a little bit of a battle as well too, but guys, sorry, we're going to have one picture at a time. I want to keep an eye on this one. 
So freeway is getting yeah. very close to the rear end of Enviable Scarf through turns nine and ten. Freeway is freeway is going to try and put it to the inside of the Alfa Romeo driver and is going to get the move almost done. Nope, not quite. So if Enviable Scarf had any idea of pitting that lap, it's not going to happen. As they've now both have DRS and they're having a drag race side by side. Down the inside to make it three wide. Wow. Through turn one. And what a move that was by Freeway 5. And also the... Ah, oh, there goes the Alpha Terry. Oh. oh, there he goes. Oh, that was a big impact with the wall as well. Family today, they're all... They're, they just see the other car. They're going enemy spotted. Yeah. It does not matter if you wear the same colors. Everybody is free game today as we saw Freeway finally get back into the lead. We see J-Boy and Shotgunner doing battle once again shotgunner obviously. this race has been absolutely wild so far we have 11 laps to go for this wonderful day in the desert it's been freeway five leading the way for most of the race so Breaking. far that'd be just blistering like there the outback of australia how, how is she still holding on but and still putting competitive relatively competitive good laps in sheer concentration and willpower and a little bit of luck right now to keep brian burns's car so on not, track yeah. He's gone in soft sand. I think he called it, didn't he? It's a, it's that strategy, mediums and softs. Yeah. And he's still because holding you... off there. I think inevitable Breeze is going well, to get Well, this time past. Breeze is going to get him here. There's no more ERS to defend with. And the Williams finally Nine gets laps. Laps. Oh, inevitable scarf is box as well, too, on soft. So soft battles now. Yeah. Good pit stop there. Oh, held up. He's serving his penalty. Well, no, he wasn't. Where's was that flagged. cameraman gone? Where are we? Cameraman, at? cameraman, you're oh. fine. Because that. Alfa Romeo is going to be absolutely rapid for the next five or six laps and then the tire is going to go off an absolute cliff. Meanwhile, Shotgunner is hunting down two at a time for that fi final podium of position. He's actually gaining on most of his championship rivals, but here we're just going to have a little bit of an ERS dump by Shotgunner just to make sure he stays within attacking range of the Haas. Looking at the last turn nicely, and here comes the Alpha. Is two at a time done with the fight yet not quite tuna time does have that drs wing flap open but not close enough and also not really with enough overtake to do anything so that is shotgunner into third position tuna time relegated awesome. once again. so using a little bit of overtake button on the exit drs open is the alpha tower going to put the move on the host the host has no overtake in order to defend Ooh. with and oh great heavens getting very close to the rear of that Haas as someone spun, don't know drivers. Brian Burns does have this time penalty for corner cutting, but is going to have seven left to try and extend the gap and getting around the Haas driver who doesn't have any ERS, and that is Eric Rogers. Or Brian Burns, my bad, into seventh plates, and now it's next up more than five percent, and able to defend quite well is J Boy. Almost not too concerned about the flying soft tires of Enviable Scarf right behind. We're already in lap 24 of 29. Dude. See. This is what happens when there's not a safe boy through the turn nine and ten little complex, and this time it should be a slam dunk, no Ooh. hesitation move. Enviable scarf puts it to the inside of J Boy, and that is the move sorted almost. J Boy doing his With thing. All the again. grip in the world gets by J Boy, but now J Boy is gonna have a little thing called DRS going down that main straight. Oh, actually, almost looking to get him into the final corner. So let's see, can Enviable scarf? Have Jump enough place of the Bahrain Grand Prix oh. down the inside into turn one. Obviously, that better grip on the Alfa Romeo is going to let him fight back a little bit better. But J-Boy swings it around, and it's going to be DRS on Enviable Scarf this time to the outside. The Alfa Romeo, but he has to concede all of a sudden. He lost the traction on the exit, and J-Boy keeps position. Wow. I know, it's exciting, World to World Racing, fantastic World to World Racing, oh, right up into that my. point, right up into that point, and Scarf is looking again, here we go, here down the mid straight away. Once again, but not getting anything on J-Boy, this battle rages on for yet another lap, there's only three more laps in this race, so there's going to have to, so I'm not going to be worried about that, so we're going to have to pull something out of the bag, but speaking of the Red Bull family, we have Vish, Making a move on Eric Rogers. Haven't really seen Vish much of at all today. Just spun a couple times at the beginning, but that is the Red Bull and 2P8 on DRS track. open and overtake. Is this finally going to be Enviable Scarf getting the move? He's going to switch outside to inside. Enviable Scarf gets it done on the last lap. Wow. wow. What a battle. And it comes to its conclusion finally on lap anyway. 29. But it's finally going to be his moment in the light. Freeway 5. Wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Not yet. <laughs> he will now. He backed now off. he does. Wow. He wanted to savor that moment for every single bit that he Can't could. But the it, 
But free row five, you're the man of the hour and you're the man of the season. Congratulations. You won your first race and you won it in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Mercedes are back on top. Mercedes have done it in absolute style as well.